Hello there and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at plotting fluid height. So we're going to be using the downbreak case in 2D and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on measure tool on the right hand side there. I'm going to untick all and we're going to tick calculate water elevation at the very bottom there. We're going to change the type of output file to a VTK file and we're going to set up a grid of points. So we're going to have a beginning x of 0.2, beginning y of 0.3 and beginning z of 0.02. So this is the initial position of our first particle. A step of x is 0, step y is 0 and step z is 0. So this is the interval between each of our points. And finally count x, count y and count z. And that is the number of points we have in each direction. So if we click OK, we're going to call this dam break height. And we're going to click on export. If we just give that two seconds for that to export, click OK. And we're going to go into Paraview. So we're going to open, we're going to go into our case file, and inside the output file, we have our dam break height. We have two dam break height VTK files. So we're going to click OK, and then we're going to click Apply on the left. We're going to position in Y plus and we're just going to make it so we can see these a bit better. So if we represent these as points and if we change our point size to 6 and you can see those there and again with the other dam break height VTK file again just change it to a point of size 6. If we get this to colour with height uh, and the other ones to be coloured solidly. So you can see that point there. Now if we just change the colouring back to height, you can see that point has just changed colour. I'll press play and you can see the point moving down and changing colour with its position. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to look to plot this. So there you go, you can just see the point moving down the screen and changing colour. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select our point. So we're going to click just here and we're going to create a box around that point which has now selected it. We're going to click on filters in the options bar and go to alphabetical and we're going to click plot selection over time. We're going to apply that and you can see that we now have a graph which shows the variation of height of the fluid over time. And we can choose what we show on this graph where we just have the average height there. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you have any further questions, please refer to the Jules Physics Forum or please don't hesitate to contact us, julesphysics at gmail.com.